Let's look back on our other game a little bit earlier on today and get some reaction from the Finland camp. They did, of course, get their first ever European victory. Let's hear from their manager now, Marco Canerva. So, quite an emotional and extraordinary night here in Copenhagen. What are your thoughts? Yeah, very dramatic, uh, emotional night, as you said. First for us, first time in a major tournament, uh, opening game against Denmark at the home stadium. Uh, when we heard the national anthems, it was very emotional for us. And then what happened in the game and this Christian Eriksen incident, dramatic one, very sad one. And finally, we get a uh, good result from the game. And uh, of course, I'm half happy for that, but unbelievable. And we're going to remember this for a long time from different reasons. And unfortunately, one is that Christian Eriksen incident. Yeah. What did you say to your players when you had to restart uh, for the second half? Or? Yeah, I said that I understand that uh, their emotions also, how they feel after seeing what happened to Christian Eriksen. And uh, I said that try to focus as much as you can to the game. And uh, I understand that, that all of you as, uh, probably have it a little bit difficult to do that. But I was wishing they could and they could very well. Yeah. Yeah, well, the footballing world thoughts with Christian Eriksen tonight, who is making a recovery in hospital. Here's what his manager, Kasper Yulman, had to say. Just read you some of his quotes. He said, first of all, it gets emotional. It's been a tough night. We're reminded of what the most important thing in life is, to have valuable relationships, people we're close to, our family and friends. We have a group of players that I cannot praise enough. I couldn't be prouder of the people who took such good care of each other. He's okay, one perfect. of my dear friends. That's the way the players defense. talked in the dressing room to decide not to do anything before we knew Christian was conscious and okay. We had two options to play the game today or tomorrow at 12 o'clock and everyone agreed to play today. You can't play a game with such feelings. We tried to win. It was incredible they managed to go out and try to play the second half. Honestly, there were players out there that were completely done, emotionally done and exhausted. And I think, Liam, those comments probably tell you just how difficult it must have been for that Danish team to it retake was, the field. It was. You could see, uh, you could see the panic on their faces uh, when uh, Ericsson went down. Uh, there was absolute real panic that, they, 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 that he might not be saved. And uh, for them to have to come out after that long, long wait, and the emotions of whether the, the lad's going to be all right or not, and then to come and have to play the game it was very, very difficult. Uh, but you have to give Finland a lot of credit, you know. If the manager asked them to focus, forget about what went on, uh, and they did. And they did it very, very well. They frustrated the Danes, uh, and they got a good winning goal. Uh, we all wanted it to finish in a draw. I think everybody would, would have been happy with that. Uh, but let's hope Denmark can recover now. And with that result, uh, Belgium, Russia, they may have a chance to get through. Mm, that's, that's the difficulty for, for Denmark, though. If you play the game tomorrow, maybe you're in a different headspace. But I can understand how they just want to get the, the game out of the way, Damien, and just play it. But it, it hasn't gone their way then. It's difficult for them. No, it hasn't, Jackie. But as I said at, at half time, I'm, I'm glad it's the players that made the decision and not UEFA for making them go out on the pitch. Um, but something, listen, I'll remember for a long, long time. Um, and like Liam said, let's give credit to Finland. They could potentially go through on Wednesday when they beat, or if they beat, sorry, a very poor Russian side from what we saw tonight. Yeah, it's, um, look, sometimes... No, we're all relieved to be big, home. Yeah. Where it's nearly finished. The day is nearly finished. It's been very draining for us. So you can imagine what it was like for the Danish players and Danish fans and uh, Ericsson's wife, who we saw on the side of the pitch, at least we think it was his wife, it must have been diabolical for them because it's been draining for us. But we're all relieved now to be going home and the lad seems to be OK. I couldn't agree more, Liam. I genuinely couldn't. Look, unfortunately, our time is up. It really has been an incredibly emotional day. Football has certainly been secondary to the events that we've seen on the pitch. Christian Eriksen taken into hospital. Hopefully his condition continues to improve overnight and we all wish him the very, very best in his recovery.